I was able to create a C++ minigame with only a graphics library, and here's how. I started out with just an idea for a game where I would have meteors on the screen and I would be like a small rock that was floating there and my job, I, I wasn't the rock, I, I would have to like try to save the rock from getting smashed for some reason by clicking around it and knocking it away from it using like, I mean it was supposed to be a shockwave but I didn't really have time to implement a shockwave effect and I didn't know how. And then I would have to try to like hit it into some sort of other rock or coin or whatever. I ended up being a rock because I didn't want to, uh, well, I didn't want to create art for <laughs> anything. So I just used the button uh, circle functions. But that wasn't the original plan, I guess. You can see some of the later gameplay. I tried to actually record gameplay as I created the game, but. My screen recorder crashed, so I wasn't able to. And yeah, so I have just... This is what it actually looks like right now. Um, this is... I, I basically had one main problem at this point. So I just fixed... I had just fixed a problem where uh, even in the menu, your gravis, gravity was uh, accelerating, which would mean that if you went into it from, like, if you waited for a while in the menu and then you started it, you'd be going ridiculously fast, especially because the restrictions that slowed you down from going too fast basically weren't there in the menu. So, um, so yeah, I had to fix that. I also, at this point, I was working on fixing, I think I actually just fixed in the video, um, a problem where the score didn't reset, I mean, not actually the score, the score counter when I died didn't reset until I got a new point in the new round. So around now, I noticed that the uh, text in on the menu button was a bit offset, the menu button just wasn't like quite wide enough, <laughs> so I opened the game a few times to actually make sure I wasn't just hallucinating. And then I basically just fixed that. I, it was literally just one pixel off, not a big problem, but it really annoyed me, so um, yeah, I fixed that. I spent a while um, just playtesting more and more and more, looking for more bugs to fix. Yeah, and this was actually like the one time that I didn't have, that I wish there were more bugs in my code because, uh, yeah, there wasn't really anything to do. Uh, I then noticed that. So the background didn't look very spacey, it looked more like of a grey-brown. I wanted more of a like bluish-black background, so I spent a bit of time tweaking colors from uh, RGB 101010 10, 10 to uh, RGB 9920, which was a relatively large change, and I think it looked really good in the end. Um, and yeah, that was basically it by this point. I finished everything and I uploaded it to GitHub. Yeah, I was done.